It's a package from the Netherlands. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to talk about this package I have received. And I'm just going to do a little bit of unpacking already. Because it says, what you can see over here, like promised, regards Frank. I bought this product from Frank um, here in the Netherlands. And he told me, or I better said, I told him first that I bought, I just basically buy stuff to make reviews who are here on the Wicked family. And he said, yeah, I have this, this handle laying around. I will send it to you for free. I'm thinking, nah, I don't have to send it for free. Yeah, no problem. And to be honest, I was a little bit forgotten about the product that we talking about it. And out of nothing, this package came. And with this little note that he sent me this product. So Frank, little shout out to you. It's really awesome that you sent me this for free because basically it helps me big time. Every little thing I get for free. And Basically, I can make more videos. So today's video, we are going to talk about the Retro Arcade Game Controller. I don't know how it's with the American Watcher or other countries, but here in the Netherlands, we can find these weird, obscure Retro Arcade game systems now. Not only from Zayman or other countries, but or country, I mean companies. It's more like we're getting these, let's say, non-naughty systems. All right. So what we're going to get? Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell and. Uh, Let's zoom in and let's play some games. Like I already mentioned, this is something totally different, not to be compared with the devices from AliExpress. Everything is made from rubbery buttons. So even a D-pad is not really a D-pad, there are basically four buttons over here. We have two functional keys and it seems to be this volume. I'm guessing this is the reset button and this is a pause button. Here at the side we're having on and off switch. Already going to turn it on and here we have the battery compartment. Okay, let's zoom in and let's see what we're going to get because I'm very curious about this retro game. Let's see. Matchman Stick. How many games are this? Gang Tie 3. Oh my god, all those. Let's see how loud it can go. Oh, not very loud. But a lot of familiar games. CS Fire. And I can already tell you that this thing is quite expensive. I can remember these things were around 25, 35 euro. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Rocketman. Oh, this thing is filled with homebrew games. Greedy Snake. Wow. How you how do you get those names? Card Rider. That's a card game, or I guess it isn't card rider. Nevertheless, it's a big list. Circus Charlie is on here. So they basically ripped something off. Let's take a close look. I'm guessing this is the bot. Yep. This is the ripoff. 60-bit version with Circus Charlie. <laughs> oh, this thing is filled with these things. I must say the D-pad or the four buttons are very responsive. Okay, let's try. The timings are a little bit different than the original game. I think I can end it. No! Ah! Okay, nevertheless, let's play the next game. We Tank War. I must say I know these games. I did own a weird, no, oh, start the game. I owned this this very weird obscure system, and it had the same games. They changed the music. They still ripped it off. The, the Sonic Three and Knuckles, Flying Fortress uh, stage. It can it can go louder. No, this is the loudest it can go. All right, so this is what you're going to get with these weird games. Mm -hmm. Gang Tie 3. Oh, that was the Metal Slug ripoff. Yeah, we have in the Metal Slug ripoff. Oh, no, we have in an Iron Man shooting lasers. Grosse lasers. Very big lasers, yeah. So I am guessing this is just a way how they try to make a handheld work for us. Pai Wang. No, I don't want to even try this. The Agent. What the hell is this? It's more like a 60-bit graphical design or something. And now? Oh, there we go. No, I'm missing an analog thing on this thing. 
Apache Overkill. What did they do with this game? Okay, that was my super attack. This is basically this is a very basic shoot 'em up game. Only adding one super, all right. So the games are very straightforward and super basic. Stickman, we know the Stickman game from previous videos. Bird, Bird's Bomb. All right. I'm guessing this is more like a puzzle game. Oh crap. Duck Thief. <laughs> what is this? Again, a puzzle game. Why can't I just... Why can't I just go, go down? What the hell is going on with this? I have never played a weight game like this. It's more like a puzzle game. That's it. You cannot navigate through the stage, so you need to use the stones or something like that. Alright, so this is what you're going to get with the Retrocade. I'm guessing you can buy it on Amazon and different, let's say, stores, platforms. But this is what you're going to get. The display itself looks quite nice, to be honest. It's of course not an IBS or something like that, but it is looking very nice. The games, yeah, they are so basic, basic games. You see them sometimes on, let's say, mini arcade machines and that kind of stuff. So a little shout out to you, Frank. It's really awesome that you sent it in so I can check it out. It's always fun to check out new stuff. I think it is more like a collectible value for the people who just want to collect mini handhelds. It's a fun thing. It are basic games. That's it. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit the little bell. And we'll see you in the next one.